Yo, what's up YouTube fam? It's your boy Koozie back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's go. I'm gonna show you guys something crazy. ever seen something so crazy. Taco Bell Defy. Look at these guys waiting in line because they're doing the normal drive through soccer. Yeah, they definitely finna pit a whole bunch of people out of the job. Y'all sure that was a dog and not a cat, man, cause that bad boy got there at nine lives. So apparently this surveillance footage captured two crimes at once. The first crime being a kidnapping. The second is committed by this lady who spilled a gallon of organs or blood. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Plot twist. One's going and one's coming from the exact same place. One's going to go exchange and one's leaving from the exchange. That's crazy. That's real dirty work right there. Man, no pun intended. No lo puedo negar. Even the dog turned around was confused. <laughs> like, <"Rrr." laughs> come on, man. They, they they doing the right thing, but at the same time, they smart but dumb because they smart by going to get on the vehicle, but they dumb for sitting there still inhaling it. Get up out of there, man. That ain't part of the contract, man. We don't know what's up in this stuff. You know, up in that, what kind of chemicals and stuff that we inhale. We know it's not good for our bodies, for sure. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. What would you do in that predicament? So the patriarchy has fallen and now the matriarchy is rising you guys. Purple is the color of royalty and the feminine energy coming back to rule this planet. And apparently in the year 2000, the Simpsons already told us that Kamala Harris was going to be president. Check this out. Question. Yes, I am proud to be America's first straight female president. <laughs> Helen? Wasn't I wearing a hat? Yes. Yes, you were. Now, in conclusion, my administration will focus on the three R's. Reading, writing, and refilling the ocean. Thank you very much. 
Now to my people who really know the truth, the Simpsons are a melanated family and this is the power coming back to the melanated matriarch because we already know we were royalty before and there is nothing new under the sun. Those who were last shall be first and those who were first shall be last. This is what the Simpsons is literally telling us. and now it's literally coming into fruition. But let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace in. Shout out to my boy Conscious Juice, Conscious Loose for the content, man. Y'all, man, they've been telling us this for years, man. I don't know. I've been seeing that clip, man, almost about the Lisa Simpson in a purple, you know what I'm saying, outfit, the Kamala outfit with the pearls since at least last year. I got videos on that too, you know, but it's crazy. They've been telling us. We've been knowing this, man, if you've been paying attention. It ain't a coincidence. This woman came knocking on her neighbor's door just after killing her husband. Oh, you know, I was just looking. Can I help you? Hello? Can I help you? Um, I was just looking. Ma'am? Can I talk to you in person? Um, uh, no thank you. Do you need any help? No. Okay, well, we, we can't help you now. I'm sorry. Do you need to call the police for you? Uh, what did you say? Do you need help? We'll call the police. Yeah. I'm freezing out here. I'm freezing out here. I have a place to stay. I don't have a place to stay. I'm sorry, ma'am. You can't stay here. Okay. I'm sorry. Man, I'm sorry. Man, she was trying to con them, man. Trying to see if they knew what was up, what was going on, man. They, She finna get rid of the witnesses, man. You know, the neighbors usually hear what's going on all the time. Y'all see that, man? She said she ain't got a place to stay, man. Come on, man. She cold out there. Would you have let her in? Not I, my friend. Not I. I'm sorry. This is the true story of the Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers are warlocks with the ability to shapeshift and become animals or people. They can not only take your appearance, but also clone your voice perfectly. The biggest Skinwalker sightings have been in Ohio and Arizona, but they are found all over the world. The preferred form of Skinwalkers is that of your pet. They take the form of your pet and enter your home and try to act like your pet to gain your trust, and then they can take your life. Watch how in this video the boy realizes that his dog is a skinwalker. Um, let me see. I'll know if she's my dog. Merlin, sit. Turn around. Turn around. Lay down. You're not my dog. My dog don't know how to do no fucking trick. Uh-uh. The fuck? Call 911. You're not my dog. I thought it was gonna say, I thought he was gonna tell the dog to talk, but speak at the end too as a third command. Shit. He's calling. Hello? 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 Sarah's a six-year-old that we babysit. Mm -hmm. like she has black, she has black hair, pigtails. Her eyes are like red, white, and red dress. She's legit. She's doing this. And she's sitting there, and she's like, hands up. She has her hands on her lap, sadistic smile, just doing this. Ooh. And she's sitting at that chair right there. Jason said, right there. Imagine being at the hospital and seeing something like that. My dog is like two rooms down. But yeah, that's a little ghost, a little ghost tale for what Jason saw at the hospital right now. Hello everybody, Buddy Webb Midland, Texas. As many people know, 
Uh, multiple people are documented as saying that tunnels and underground homes are near my home in Midland behind the Home Depot store uh, with many details including the guy that was running for Midland Sheriff and supporting evidence was found on old Google Maps showing that one of the underground homes is located in my backyard directly across the street from Home Depot store How the buildings underground that he was talking about, it was not one million, it was actually four, and they're actually homes. That are underground? Three bedroom, yes, they're three bedroom homes. I even asked him, I asked him about the pizza parties. They said they're not called pizza parties, but I know what you're talking about. It's all type of stuff going on up under us, man. <laughs> out here, around us, up under us, above us. God almighty, man. Where we gonna be safe at, man? All in no one place. You know what I'm saying? And that's in the presence of who? You already know. You know, you know the answer. And I ain't talking about the one up under. A girl was sitting on a subway late at night when she noticed the woman sitting across from her was staring at her intently. The woman was sitting between two old men. The girl kept looking away, but the woman wouldn't break eye contact with her. The stare was beginning to freak the girl out. At the next stop, a new passenger got on, and it was a tall man wearing a trench coat. He then sat down next to the girl, and the woman paid no attention to the man in the trench coat. And she just kept looking at the girl, who was getting more and more creeped out as time went on. Oh, the two men didn't even glance in her direction. She pretended not to notice, but every time she glanced at the strange woman, the stare continued. When the train was pulling into the next stop, the man in the trench coat got up to leave, but suddenly he grabbed the girl's arm tightly, what? and as the doors opened, he dragged her off the train. The doors shut and the subway pulled off, leaving the girl alone with the man in the trench coat. She started screaming out loud, begging for help, but the man in the trench coat then said, Calm down, I just saved your life. I didn't mean to scare you, but I had to get you off that train. The woman sitting opposite of you was dead, and the two men beside her were holding up her body. And let me know what y'all think about that clip down below in the comment section. It's been a year. The doctor's given up on him. It only takes one memory. One memory to get him started. How is nobody talking about this movie? Are you gonna be okay? Just you and him? This movie was so good. Okay? It's called The Portrait. What can you tell me about Calvin? Why do you ask? I mean, they're exactly the same. He was a genius in this world and beyond. My mind's playing tricks on me. You're up there all by yourself. I'm not here by myself. You've seen them, haven't you? Crazy movie, The Portrait. He liked to hurt women. Hey. He loves his wounded birds. This is good. That's the thing about our family. We always bump. Y'all go check it out if you're into it. This 
is just horrifying. In 2011, Daniel Bartlett, who was 14 years old at the time, ran out of his burning house with his younger brother and dog. They waited for the emergency services to arrive, and when the police questioned Daniel, he told them that someone had broken into the house and harmed his mother and then set the house on fire. But after this initial statement, Daniel told the police the very disturbing and sickening truth. He said that he crept into his mother's room at night with a claw hammer in his hand. He then stood over his own mother while she slept, and as he looked down on her, he raised the hammer and hit her in the head seven times. And after he was done, he poured gasoline around her bedroom and then set the house on fire. The disturbing thing is, Daniel's mother was only identified through her dental records, and as the police searched the house, they found the hammer used in the attack in Daniel's bedroom. They also found a document on his computer where he written a story featuring a character with his name. Another disturbing part about this case was that a popular TV show in the UK called Coronation Street had recently showed a story where one of the characters murdered a woman with a hammer, and the storyline in the TV show resembled a striking resemblance of what Daniel had done. The police also found TV clips of the scene from the episode of Coronation Street, along with other violent scenes from the popular TV films on Daniel's computer. The media then gave Daniel the nickname the Coronation Nation Street Killer. Daniel's stepfather had also spoken about Daniel's behavior before the awful incident took place. And he said that he had plastic boxes full of Star Wars and Doctor Who figures, and Daniel would just urinate in the boxes. Daniel also defecated all over his bedroom. And what's strange is, Daniel was raised by his mother in a very stable home. And by all accounts, Daniel was a normal young boy. The family had moved to a different area in 2009, and that's the year he began to become more reclusive, spending most of his time in his bedroom playing video games and watching horror films. His stepfather blamed the video games and the horror films on why Daniel murdered, but I don't believe that at all. Daniel said that he killed his mother because of an argument that they had had and she called him a freak. But with no evidence of abuse in the home, the motive is still unclear. Daniel was found guilty of murder. This whole case is just sad, especially because everyone that knew Daniel's mother said that she lived for her children and was a warm, loving mother. Man, that's a strange story. They always mention doors, but never what's behind them. It's like thinking about what's behind the door. So, like, you know what I'm saying? When I'm in the room, it's like, damn, it's another room. So, I just keep going in a different room. So, one of them times I open the door, I'm going to be afraid. Yeah. We never had access to yeah. that sort of information. I call, it the, I call it the room with the door with the door behind it. There's a door. You never yeah. get to that door. We, yeah. we always got through the first door. Yeah. And we were so excited about being in that room yeah. that we never looked at the next door, right? It's a level of success where it's a door. When you platinum and you're getting 50000 a show, I've been there. There's a door that you can walk in. <laughs> but I was offered these doors. I just chose to go straight. And I haven't been platinum since. <laughs> there is a curtain, there's another room, and there's a curtain. And it, I ain't no way been through that, though. That room is some shit. You're like, God damn, I didn't know y'all doing this back here. <laughs> you guys recognize Jim here? He hints towards what happens behind these doors. You know, let me tell you something about celebrities. Let me tell you something about some big big sports stars if you honestly knew with some of your favorite big superstars really did behind closed doors if you really knew what your favorite radio star tv star newscaster truly did behind closed doors None of us are perfect. We all do weird things. We're all freaky and weird and crazy. But if you knew, you wouldn't follow half the people. You wouldn't listen. Would you go through that door? I can't believe that his mind, you feel me? I, I, someone had to do something to him. That's how they wanted him. He was fucking perfect for the NBA. Can't even talk, can't even function enough to talk to your fucking parents. Because maybe that don't got nothing to do with him winning a fucking championship. Fuck the Lakers, nigga. Fuck out of here. Yeah. I ain't even mean to get mad at that, but I'm just saying that like, what? Like, I wish I would have got my fucking money so I could just gave everything to my parents just because I really had the fucking money. Well, yeah, remember? Fuck the NBA. Fuck out of here with that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what they did to him. Fuck out of here. He's 17, 18 when he gets to the NBA. They sit there and they was perfectly fine with him. Like, yeah, good. They want him for a oh, championship. Ch Yo, bro. There's parents. Like, bro, come on. They supposed to make sure. They supposed to make sure that the parents is like, what's going on?
Yeah. And they didn't care because they like, damn, Kobe's a different breed. He's Kobe mentality. Fuck everything. I'm like, nah, I don't want the kids to. I don't want the kids to see that part. They, I want the kids to know that because all the kids is reading the story with the parents selling the thing. We don't know the story. Say, man, y'all know what he talking about. I think he talking about that MK, and I ain't talking about Michael Kors <laughs> and that uh, Ultra. You know, saying the Ultra, 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 that makeup stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get through. Say, you catch my drift if you on point. You know, I'm just trying to keep y'all on point. But let me know what y'all think about that down below in the comment section. Did they have his mind just focus on that only tunnel vision? You know what I'm saying? He wasn't worried about his parents. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Man, hell no. Nah. It's time to move. Time to get up out of there. It's a hey, y'all having a haunting. Y'all getting haunted right now, man. Hey, I say, hey. 
man. Let me know what you would do in that situation if that was happening to you down below in the comment section. And one more thing, y'all hit that like button, man. Come on, it's not that easy. It's free. Like, just like to subscribe, man. Subscribe, hit the comment. It's all free. If you don't like the video, hit this like and just get your ass on. You know, it's simple, man. Period. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't need no monetary souls around here, man. People out here spying and shit, man. Hit that like button, man. That's all you need to do. Like button, subscribe. You know, that's it. Comment. Let me know what y'all think. I want to know what you think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Y'all hear what I think. Let me know what you think. Don't be scared. Top 10 Scariest Ghost Sightings of 2024. Video was recorded by a security camera inside an apartment complex. Not much is known about this video, except that it came from this residential building where the little girl and her family reside. The video starts off with footage of the young girl playing by a staircase. Below the stairs is what appears to be a small room. The little girl can be seen staring at something inside the room, but nothing noticeable can be seen on footage. Or at least, that's what the child's parents initially thought. It was only after watching this video multiple times that the parents were left horrified. Something was actually captured inside this room. Take a look. Man, get the fuck off. Hell no. Man, what is that? It now becomes clear as to why the little girl seemed hesitant to go inside. A disembodied hand can be seen beckoning to the girl. It almost seems to come out of nowhere before disappearing into thin air. Even the cat who later joins the girl seems unsure about going inside. Whatever this might have been was concerning enough to make them reluctant about entering the space. This mysterious footage, like most videos, has yet to be solved. But until then, you be the judge on what was captured inside this room. On August 23rd of 2023, George Cruz and his wife had just finished making dinner and were heading towards the living room to eat their meal. The couple sit close to each other while watching their favorite TV program. As minutes pass, it appears that nothing strange is happening in this footage. But fast forward to just a few more seconds and something happens that scares the living daylights out of the couple. Prior to this incident, George and his wife had been experiencing strange occurrences inside their house. Before having to document any of these occurrences, they would often wake up in the dead of night and hear faint whispering coming from somewhere inside the house. But creepiest of all is when the couple would see household items move on their own. Over time, the activity has become so intense that the couple has asked for help from those who specialize in the paranormal. It was recommended that they set up cameras around their home to capture evidence of the so-called paranormal activity so the couple act accordingly. Weirdly enough, they were also told to get rid of a certain item inside their house. George and his wife own an old rocking chair, and apparently, this chair is the source behind all the activity. So the couple does exactly that by selling it. And surprisingly, a buyer has taken an interest in purchasing the chair. The couple holds onto the chair until the buyer comes over to pick it up sometime next week. But in the meantime, something very strange... Man, stay prayed up.
On January 28th of 2024, a mother posted the following footage that she caught on her home security camera. The mother stated this video was recorded inside her bedroom where various instances of paranormal activity had been taking place. In one of these instances, her daughter ran out of the room claiming she heard a woman scream. The mother was confused as she did not hear anyone scream, but upon checking the footage, she saw this. Scream from out of nowhere sends her daughter running out of the room. Now it's possible the camera was hacked, but this still does not explain the other strange activity that's been going on in her home. The mother believes this video is evidence of something supernatural. Whether or not that's the case, this video is still pretty creepy. Say, hey, y'all, that's why you always got to pay attention to your kids. Pay attention to them. Your kids be right sometimes, man. A lot of times, really, I ain't gonna lie. Especially if they're really young, man. They trying to tell you something about somebody or something. They can't always, you know, like, put a word to it or, you know, speak to you in the words that we understand. But if you just pay attention to them and listen to them, you understand a lot, then they be telling you or been telling you something from for a long time. You just, you know, you got to pay attention to your kids. Animals too, like your cats, dogs, all that. Y'all see that in these videos. You got to pay attention to them. Because the, they always, you know, trying to put us on game about something new that we don't understand. Or we too busy being distracted by our technology, our cell phones and stuff like that. A, a bunch of BS, you know, that we can't, we, you know, focus on what's real the reality the real the real reality you know let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section though down below you're gonna get the chills when you see this video a woman was alone in her apartment one day with her family when she began to notice a noise coming from the other room as she paid closer attention to it she began to recognize the noise it sounded like a cat's meow but she didn't have any cats so she began to speak to it but oh, something man, told her rough. that this was not a cat in the video she begins to speak to it and as she does she begins recording pay close attention when she zooms in because what she captures is truly frightening bruja real se convierte en gato quién eres Tú no eres un gato. Oh, man. Ay, ¿qué es esto? Vete de aquí, ¿quién eres? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Quién eres? Te estoy grabando, ¿quién eres? ¿Por qué estás aquí en mi casa? Tú no eres un gato. Tú no eres un gato. Te ordeno que te vayas de mi casa. ¡Ah! Manche. No manches. ¿Qué es eso? Se abrió la puerta. Se abrió la puerta. Se abrió la puerta. At the beginning of this video, it clearly states that this is a witch pretending to be a cat. You can see clearly in the video a womanly figure laying against the floor. And as the woman notices it, she gasps. As if this wasn't frightening enough, you can see at the very end of the video, if you look closely at the window, the curtains begin to move. Man, hell no! Nah. What would you did in that situation, man? That's creepy. Stay prayed up, and hey, hey, y'all, get you, get you, get your heart right in your in, in your life right with that man upstairs, man. You know what I'm saying? Not the one downstairs, one upstairs, cause uh, that can happen to anybody, man. I'm gonna tell you. This is the case of La Bruja de Monterrey. 
In the early morning hours of January 16, 2004, a police officer of Guadalupe, Nuevo León, claimed to have been attacked by a witch. He was doing his routine patrol of the neighborhood of Valles de Silla when he claims that he saw a figure come down from the sky, stop right in front of his police car, and hover over the ground. He got out of his car to further inspect what it was and observed what he said was a bird-like witch. His description of her was that her height was a meter, meter and a half at most. She dressed like a bird with feathers. Seeing her face, it was an old lady's face. Wrinkled, red eyes, black hair. What I really noticed were her black claws and the hair. In other words, that's what shocked me the most. It was a bird's body and face like a human's. Leonardo then claims that the being actually tried to attack him. He ran back to his car and the being climbed on top of it and began to scratch at it. He began calling for help and for backup, and when it arrived, they discovered him passed out in his car. He was taken to a local hospital, where they assessed that he wasn't on any sort of drugs, alcohol, and psychologically, he wasn't suffering from mental illness. He went public with his story, and this prompted many residents of the same neighborhood to come forward with similar stories. La rutina y saqué vuelta a la derecha en la esquina. Eh, avancé unos 20 metros de la esquina. Y luego, como unos 50, se paró una señora, venía... Se cayó de arriba y se echó. Se trae los luces altos de, de la unidad. Se volteó y se estaba. Y le metió a reversa y se pegó en el virus. La... This is a drawing that a resident of the neighborhood drew to try and describe what the alleged witch looked like. And two more police officers came forward that they saw these beings, and one described that their laugh sounded like turkeys. This prompted the paranormal investigation crew by the name of OVNI Group de Nuevo León, Mexico to take on the case. The group was led by Diana Perla Chapa, who claims that the police did not allow her to speak to these police officers who saw the alleged witch for almost an entire year. She interviewed residents and set up cameras around the areas where the witch had been previously sighted. And two years later, she claims she caught the witch on camera. And this is that video. Mira, mira lo que se está viendo. Y como yo siempre traía mi cámara, era, esa era una cámara digital, pues entonces empecé a, a salir corriendo y empiezo a filmar lo que acaban de ver. Resulta que me movían mucho una, una persona que estaba al lado mío me decía ay 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 qué es eso qué es eso y estaba como asustada this story caused a national and international sensation Leonardo and Diana were interviewed by the Discovery Channel by the History Channel and all were trying to get an idea of whether or not this witch was real since the events of the Monterrey Police Department and Diana there have been sporadic videos and alleged sightings of these witches but none quite like the sensation of the years 2004 to 2006 and some wonder if this was a case of mass hysteria or if there was actually a witch haunting the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Now, how many of y'all out there remember that? It's a very viral story, man. The, hey, how many of y'all believe it was real? And how many of y'all think it was fake? Let me know down below in the comment section. Me personally, I believe it was real. Call it what you want. Call me what you want. Oh, hell no. Hey, now let me know, y'all think that was some type of acting, some type of actor or what, man? Me personally, I think that was real too. Shh, hey, be careful. You, hey, truth is strange and fiction. That's what I always say, and ain't nothing ever a coincidence. Let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. And y'all, that's the end of the video. As you've been here from the beginning to now, you the real MVP. I appreciate you. You're one of the real supporters I see. But if you're really a real supporter, you're real, you're real, real so supporter. Hey, <laughs> hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, especially if you're new to the channel. And y'all, don't forget, man, the memberships are now open. Become a member. You get a lot more perks, man. I'm telling you, you'll, be, you'll get to see the videos before a lot of other people. Yeah, and, and you can recommend what type of video you want next, at least once. You can recommend video topic 
Let me know what y'all think about that, man. And don't forget to become a member. And don't forget, go subscribe to my Patreon. And don't forget, go follow me on Instagram at Don Cousy 107 mg Go follow me, man. I'll meet you there. You beat me there. Don't meet me there, okay? It's your boy. I'm gone. Cousy out.